Hey, what's up, guys? Sports to here. The back end for some more Madden NFL 15 Ultimate Team here, guys. In this episode, quite a long one here, but we are back and for some more Ultimate Team. You see, I get Mohamed Sanu here. I completed for the Ultimate Free, so he is my my other quarterbacks now, my speedy quarterback. But like I said, guys, long episode here for today for you. Got a nice, cool, awesome game. Cool, awesome game, and we're gonna buy some all Madden packs as well. Um, so we're gonna see if there's anything in here. Let's see if we can find anything good. We start with Garrett Selleck. Here's the first card. We get a little, uh, Kyle Orton as well. And here's my goal is a Dimitri Patterson, and we get Benjamin Watson, Brandon Lloyd. So obviously, I'm looking for some elites here. We get William Moore. So not too exciting really there. I think William Moore actually becomes my new strong safety. But um, I get Sean Lewis more here in the next pack. Starting it off. Uh, anything else here we get? Um, Ladarian Waddle and a nice right tackle there. And there he goes, a Denar, Denar Robinson, rising star. And then Trent Richardson finishes that pack off. So still looking for some elites here, trying to find anything good. Maybe some collectibles, uh, maybe for some legends, maybe. I never know. CJ Wilson, 81 overall. Uh, what else we got? We got a Braille Franklin. And nothing really else here. Riley Cooper and the gold. Another one is Kyle Long. So three packs down and nothing too exciting so far. But let's go back here, and we're going to go ahead, and I think we're going to buy a pack here. I actually don't know what I'm going to do. But we're going to get out of the screen here, and you see all Madden packs are still in the game here, guys. Pretty, pretty cool. And I still have one more and another badge pack, too. It's like the bundle top where you get seven badges, which can be used for the collectibles and stuff. But here's the final pack. Here we get uh, Jamarcus Webb. <laughs> Great start to the pack. Uh, we go backwards here. We get Red Bryant, and we get Greg Jennings as well. And that finishes out that pack along with a like, Chris Canty. I think I already have him before. So that rounds out that pack, guys. And we got one more pack. Here's the seven badge pack. We get a badge gold, badge bronze, and then all the rest are just the same. Silver, bronze, 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 bronze. So pretty cool there. We don't know really much to do with them. I think the gold one's the, probably the best. You can maybe sell that one later on. It's probably worth a lot of coins, but whatever. So that is something pretty cool there. So we're going to transition here uh, one second. You see... Just kind of looking around, seeing all the collect uh, the collections, the uh, sets, I mean. I want to say collections. That was last year. But uh, sets, it goes in this year. And uh, just trying to figure out which ones they uh, they go into. So, so pretty awesome pack right there. And that uh, finishes out the pack. But I still have 60, 63,000 coins, which is pretty darn awesome. And I actually end up doing one more pack, I think. Am I going to go buy a pro pack? I think I might go buy a pro pack. I think I did, yeah. I went and go ahead and buy. I went ahead and buy, uh, bought one more pro pack and saw. Let's see what I get here. I get Riley Cooper. Uh, what else do I get? Um, don't really get anything else in this pack. So that pack was a garbage pack. Um, I got Riley Cooper, so nothing too exciting for that pro pack. But like I said, I got still 84 overall, still progressing my team a lot and trying to make the playoffs as well. I get one game a win. I can make the playoffs for Ad Head Seasons mode. So that is something that's really awesome there. And I also decided, I think, to buy one more pro pack. I'm going to buy one more and buy this one with coins because I don't have any more points left. But I only have 50, so I'm going to go, buy, buy, uh, go ahead and buy some coins. Get Brian Bulaga, and besides that, nothing else. I <laughs> saw the gold, and that was just pretty much it. Calvin Benjamin, but nothing else really newsworthy right there. I actually start to quick sell them all because there really isn't anything else exciting. So, But this Brian Bulaga actually is pretty helpful. It actually will uh, be my new right tackle. He's actually he's better than Justin Pugh, who I've had uh, for a little while now. So we'll uh, we'll start Balaga now. Actually, he's in, um, Eugene Moore Monroe. Actually, must be my new gun. But that finishes out that part part one of the episode. I like to say, but you see, the night train lane guys was inserted a couple of days ago. Actually, wore off on the seventh. Now I know it's the eighth, but uh, I just want to kind of show you that, guys. And uh, yeah, I think he's in the game here. I do play. Um, pretty awesome card. They're a great legend to have. And it's cool they play them in the game. So the next day I hop on, we see veteran packs are in the game. And they are, um, you know, pretty cool. And I actually go ahead and decide to buy one of them with my seven, it's below 17,500 coins. And let's see if I get anything good out of this pack. Uh, see if I can get out of anything lucky. Chris Ousu, I love his name, so awesome. We get Antonio Smith and then RG3. So nothing really exciting there in that pack as well. I like the RG3, though, good speed. But still not going to compare really to my 87 overall elite Tom Brady. So I'm going to stick with uh, what I got. 
But besides that, guys, now we're going to go into a few additions I'm going to be adding to my team. And one of them, is, as you see right here, I'm looking for Kayvon Austin. He's the holiday out of position card for like the ultimate freeze, one of the specials they put out. Kayvon Austin, 96 speed, 96 agility, 97 uh, acceleration, along with 96 elusiveness. He's 5'8". He just is a beast, beast of player. And I really have been looking for an upgrade in the running back slot, slot uh, since they put out that Bo Jackson. Obviously, he wore, uh, he wore down to an 80. And uh, Darren Robinson, who I just saw, uh, I got actually two of them. He's only an 80 overall as well. And I really don't like Reggie Bush anymore. I've had him for quite some time. It's 14,000 coins for Tavon Austin. But I really was, I was up and down about it. Like, do I really want to spend 14,000 coins on Tavon Austin? Maybe I see, see if there's anything better out there. So keep looking around. There is an area in Foster out there, but this Tavon Austin is too good. I love his speed. So we go ahead here and we purchase Tavon Austin to be my new running back. Uh, and that's why I see I'm thinking about extending some of his contracts, but I just decided not to. But I, I think it won like a thousand contracts, but whatever. So there, 96 speed, he will demote Reggie Bush as my new running back. So Tavon Austin, welcome to the team. So you check out my lineup once again. You'll learn a lineup update once again. There's Brady in the lineup along with Austin. I uh, got Inman in the corner, receiver, playing number two. Steve Smith and along with Brandon LaFell. I've had quite some for, uh, I've had LaFell for quite a long time. And then see Red Bryan actually fills out as my new left end. So we got a couple of the uh, the pack edition golds actually fill out to be better players. So that's something to look forward to as well. But now, guys, we're gonna be jumping into my head of the season mode game right here. I am four and three on the year. I need to be, I win. I win this game. I need to make the playoffs. So I don't really want to lose this game, but I do have. I do want to get in. So let's see if I get in here, guys. We're going here to Sun Life Stadium, and we are in the away Vikings uniforms here. Owen Daniels gets the first reception by Tom Brady, for about five on the play. Good start for our um, team. You're now third in inches, and you're going to see Tavon Austin, the newly acquired team, making a juke move, and he's going to get a good 11 yards on the play at the 41-yard line. Great start, and great, uh, great to see, see him on the team. Now Brady now dropping down in the pocket. He's going to fire out once again to Owen Daniels. Owen stomps and absorbs the big hit on the play. Again, a four, five, six for 27 yards for Brady on the game so far. Brady dropping back once again, looking for the deep ball once again. Owen Daniels, and he picks it up inside of the 8-yard line. Actually, inside of the 12-yard line. And uh, 6 or 7 for 58 yards for Brady as Owen Daniels is quite happy on that play. Second 11, 3 receiver shotgun formation. And it's going to be a handoff to Tavon Austin. Austin gets in the end zone just like that. Scampers his way in for his first Team Awesome touchdown. So 7 other Team Awesome is on top. And now my opponent with Matt Stafford going to be handing the ball off to Jeremy Hill, the running back uh, for the Cincinnati Bengals, is going to be uh, getting a good amount of yards there at the 39-yard line. Three rushes for 32 on the game for him so far. As we enter the second quarter, once again, Jeremy Hill is getting work here, going to the 34-yard line, pick up five on the play. Here's a three-receiver shotgun formation. Actually, under the huddle is Stafford. Rolling out of the pocket, he's going to find a right open man, that's Jermichael Finley, and Finley gets upended in the end zone, actually injured on the play, he would return later, nice hit, by the, hit, nice hit there by Lane, but still nonetheless, it's a touchdown for my opponent. Later here in the 28 yard line, once again, Owen Daniels gets another big hit, but absorbs it, and gets another first down. Once again, now Brady looking around, getting chased in the pocket, and he is sacked right there, a nice sack by my opponent. So now third and 20, got uh, looking for the man open, going downfield for Owen Daniels, and he's almost had it, looked like he did, but it's intercepted by Kenny Vaccaro, and Vaccaro gets a nice interception right there. Actually, no, it's Tyron Matthew, I thought, I thought it was Vaccaro, but Tyron, Tyron Matthew, whatever, and he gets the in interception right there. So 25 seconds left for my opponent, he's going empty tray, shotgun, five receiver set. Stafford in the pocket, and it's almost intercepted, could have been. Nice deflection there by Brandon Spikes. Now at the 33-yard line, 3rd and 10. Once again, Stafford in the pocket. He's going to find open man. No way. He throws in a traffic. Looking for a receiver for his receiver right there, but it's incomplete. A 4th and 10 opportunity. And here comes Dan Carpenter. I believe it's Dan Carpenter, I think. I don't really know who's his kicker, his, who his kicker was, but he gets the 3 points to go down right there, and it is 10-7 ball game. So with nine, second left, 9 seconds left, I try to be a little cute right here and try to score a stupid touchdown. I throw a big interception right there to Night Train Lane. And with 3, 2, 1, you see he gets tackled with 1 second left. And there's my luck is not really you know going on my side right here. Momentum not on my side. And you see I'm going to just, I'm waiting for it because I know he's going for a field goal just to capitalize off of my stupid mistake right here. So once again, snap spot, kick is up. And it is right through the center. So 13 to 7, and my opponent's got the lead. Now, Tavon Austin here gets a carry here on the 23 yard second and 10. But it goes really nowhere there. Seven rushes, 41 for the game for him so far. Brady now dropping down in the pocket. He's going to find his man. That is Inman on the play inside of the 10. First down in goal for Team Awesome. 
Still a pistol, still the pistol formation. Uh, Tavon Austin in the backfield, gonna hand the ball off to him once again. He's move, maneuvering his way into the end zone, and there he goes, Tavon Austin, with another touchdown right there. Two touchdowns on the game for him. It's a 14 to 13 here. Team Awesome's got the lead with the clock winding down in the third quarter. Stafford looking for the deep ball, and it is knocked down. Nice play right there by our safety, William Moore. I believe that actually is. So we end up, they end up, uh, we end up punting though, and later inside of the 16 yard line. Jeremy Hill is going to get the rush there up to, to uh, second and two coming up. And then the ball off into him once again and making his way into the end zone. He goes. It is now a 20. It's a 14 game. Actually 19. But he's going for the two-point conversion. This can make it a seven-point game instead of a five-point game. Stafford. Tight, tight full ride receiver uh, set bunch formation right here at the two yard line. Stab making a few adjustments at the line. Hill in the backfield. Quick pass out to his receiver, but he gets laid out. A beautiful play by Knight. Train laying going for Andre Holmes right there. And it's incomplete, and it's a five point game. So let's see if Team Awesome here can battle back at the 12 yard line. Brady now going for the deep ball, and I make one of the stupidest decisions of the game. I throw an interception right there, and exactly what I didn't want to do right there. Interception to Parkari Rambo. And uh, they, uh, he has the ball at the 22-yard line. Ends up wasting all my timeouts. Exactly what I would have done as well. And he kicks the field goal, making the game now 22-14. to I need a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie this game up. All right, so we go empty tray shotgun formation for Tom Brady. 16 seconds and counting. Brady now looking tight in the pocket. A fire out to Owen Downs, who completes it over the head of the defense right there. 10 seconds remaining, though, 23-yard line. We got to hurry up to the line. 8 Seconds remaining. All right, seven seconds. Brady making a few adjustments. Come on, guys. Hurry up to the line. Hurry up to the line. Four, three, two. We get the clock off. Brady looking the shotgun. Looking for somebody to open. He's going to fire it downfield for the last prayer. It's a touchdown. Benjamin Watson. He got it. Oh, my goodness. Benjamin Watson just caught that touchdown. You got to be kidding me. Oh, my goodness, guys. My heart was pumping, 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 pumping. I thought it was a pot on my chest, but unbelievable touchdown there by Benjamin Watson. But we needed to win conversion. It's not over yet. The fairy tale ending is not over yet. We needed to win conversion. We're going to hand the ball off to the Shrasi Tavon Austin. I see he's got nobody under the center right there, JC Shredder. We're going behind him, and it's a touchdown to Tavon Austin. We are all tied. We're going to overtime. What a thrilling episode here we have here, guys. And you see, I go for the coin toss. I go for tails. He gets the ball, and he's receiving it. This is not good for us. So with the 43 second inches here for uh, for Jeremy Hill, uh, play action him, Stafford rolling out, and it's, oh, what, I don't know how he caught that ball and completed that one, but he gets the completion right there. So at the 42 first and 10 nonetheless, it's a quick slant to Andre Holmes, and well, yeah, touchdown Andre Holmes, and there goes the game. Oh, what a, just what a, a great game by us, but in the end, he gets a slant play, and it's a terrible play on defense, and he just gets a touchdown, just like that. So 28 to 22. A nice, um, uh, great game by my opponent. Great game by me as well. I got to hand it up to me. Nice Benjamin Watson touchdown there. We go on the four verticals. Can't believe I completed it, but um, I did get it to go down. And uh, 28 to 22, that is the finale. Guys, and there is the current season history right there. I won two games, and now I lost one. So now it's time to make some adjustments. I got 25,000 coins, and I need to spend it. So one of the things I need to upgrade is a left outside linebacker. I have Chad Greenway currently, 79 overall, and uh, Fernal McPhee looks pretty darn good. He's a 85 overall from the Ravens, and uh, he's a team. Of the, he actually is a Football Outsiders card. And I'm trying to find the cheapest one. It looks like I did find it right here, looking for about um, 2,000 coins. You'll see that one coming to come down, and right there, 2,000 coins. And here he goes. Fernal McPhee is on my team, so there's a nice upgrade there to the left outside linebacker position. Okay, so nice upgrade right there. Another upgrade we're going to do is a middle linebacker. That is Chris Borland. I know the contracts are low, but I got a tons of contracts. And I want to replace him over Brandon Spikes. So we're going to add him good speed. And then I want to add him to my team as well. So there we go. I'm going to promote him to my starter. And there's two nice additions to my team as well. I'm going for looking for another one here. Looking for another third cornerback to help out as well. And that is Janoris Jenkins. Great speed. I love his man coverage at 94. Only about 9,900 9, coins, and we'll purchase him as well. That puts me down to 14,000, but I, get, I do have three great additions. And one more I wanted to make, too, is a nice, strong kicker. Venetari is only an 82 overall and doesn't really have that great a kick power. So one of the guys has good kick power, too. Plus, he's just an awesome beast, and I found one in Matt Pritt, Roto Playoffs Edition, 96 kick power. 
and 91 accuracy. I'll take that for only 2,400 coins, and we'll add him to my team as well. So there we go, guys. There's my four great additions to my team. And I see I actually 85 overall when I get it all together. Here's my new and improved team. I didn't really do too much on the offensive side. This was more of a defensive additions. Um, you guys see, like, I got, like, everybody, Cordy Glenn, and all these guys are all the same. But defense, I see Judge uh, Jenkins is there. That lane, like I said, does wear off. So I'll probably have to get, you know, continue going with the cornerbacks. But Janoris is a nice, nice corner uh, back to have as well. Um, yeah, so I pretty much have a good team. Still upgrading and still getting better and better, but I think it's better than it was, and I can't wait to play a game with this new team as well. So, um, yeah. So probably I probably think the next addition probably will be another defensive tackle. I was looking through them. They're just too pricey for my liking, so still trying to improve that. So I have Timmy Jernigan, but Harrison's not going to be uh, the greatest second one as well. So that's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. It was a quite a long one, too. 15 minutes and 51 seconds. Quite, quite, quite long. Um, almost a 16-minute video, but not my, uh, not my, actually, one of my longest month videos probably ever. So hope you guys did enjoy. We're at 85 overall now. Still trying to complete getting up higher and higher. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe for some more Madden 15 Ultimate Team. And uh, see you guys next episode. Have a great day. I'm out.